Hi Libra, welcome back to Om Kara Tarot and to your love read. Let's see Libra, how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And of course Libra, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Um, my angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for Libra and send them the messages they need to hear the most for their love life. Thank you. All right, Libra, let's start your reading. Welcome back all my subscribers. Thank you, thank you for being here. And uh, Libra, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. All right, Libra, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Libra, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is person A and this is person B. Bottom of my deck, I have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It seems uh, nobody's really putting in the work to do anything about the connection. What I'm feeling, uh, one person is feeling uh, that they've lost their happiness, they've lost their wish fulfillment, they really still do want or see a uh, happily ever after with their person, but they've lost the hope. The other person feels, well, this connection has backfired totally. Uh, maybe they caught their person doing something or something happened here. Person B is in uh, manifestation mode right now. Let's see wh what what this is all about. I'm going to start with some dialogue message cards here, Libra. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. Then we start clarifying these cards, okay? So Libra and their person spirit. Libra and their person. They could say something to each other now. What would that be? Libra and their person. Libra and that person. All right, Libra, I'm going to take a few more from another deck. And uh, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. Just give me a second, I'll switch my phone off. Sorry. Okay, let's take a few more from this deck as well. Libra and that person spirit. Okay, good to go, Libra. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, I want you to trust me. Trust that I will know the right time to take things to another level. No one else comes close to all the good things you've done for me. Are you sorry for hurting me? I bury you with lies. I'm scared to tell you the truth. I keep hearing songs and it always reminds me of you and I. I never loved them. It was just about the sex. I love you. Well, that's not a proposal I want to hear. I know I have narcissistic tendencies, but I'm not one. I develop these traits to protect myself. So, well, somebody wants to explain why, why things have not progressed, why they didn't put in the work. Let's see. I'm going to start with the energies of person A. But before that, of course, we have to take our angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you for today's read, uh, Libra. Blessing, guidance, advice or a message. And the card I have here for you, Libra, is peaceful. So there is some peaceful resolution coming to this connection or maybe separately, I don't know. But uh, it's time for peace and harmony with or without your person, I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Let's see where this connection is going first. Okay, so I think there's been enough fighting and enough rift here. Okay, so person A, why, why do you feel this way? Why is your star in reverse? Why are you losing hope? Because there's been an argument, there's been a fight. Uh, they do want, they do want this healing. They do, they do see their person as their star. They do see her happily ever after with them, but 
they've lost hope because of some words that were spoken they feel this love is lost now they feel they've lost a beautiful soulmate connection but they do want to heal this connection from what i'm seeing uh ten of cups spirit ten of cups yes this person does want to put in the work they want to put in the work to get this happiness back the ten of cup cups back into the way it was meant to be i guess but because of this fight things have been disrupted they do want to bring back peace and healing to this connection at least that's how they are feeling so what happened uh, person a in the recent past that now you're feeling this way well person a says omkara taro this connection totally stagnated why why did it stagnate what happened here because somebody didn't do the right thing somebody didn't do the right thing maybe they were keeping their options open maybe they thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side maybe there's something somebody better out there and uh, well uh, i don't think uh, any effort was put so what happened then with the chariot in the recent past what happened chariot i think that person uh, went off they went off blocked them push them away and now somebody is feeling like a loser they're feeling like well i made a very unwise decision i made a very very unwise choice unwise decision now at least that's what person a is saying that uh, my person uh, walked away and they've blocked me out am i right person a is that what happened in the recent past Yeah, now they're sitting here discontent. All their other options. Well, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. It seems because uh, whoever person A is now is feeling very discontent, bored, sad. No other option is working out. The offer that they got, maybe they rejected. They didn't take it. Uh, which was the right the uh, right offer. This was given straight from the hand of God, right? But this person was probably in their Mm, not the highest vibration at that point uh, they thought they thought this offer was just another one of the three cups i mean you see three cups here and you see another one coming straight from the heavens right so i think person a could have disregarded this special love offer which was actually meant for them and uh, because they did that well that person blocked them off and went off so how do you feel about the connection now person a person a says my person has walked away <laughs> they walked away they left me behind because i never gave them any emotional happiness they've left me and gone am i right eight of uh, cups how do you feel about the connection or your person now there was there was a lot of heartbreak in this connection there was a lot of heartbreak there was a disharmony there was no balance brought into this connection i have a feeling one person just walked away from the connection but now from what i'm seeing this little time of uh, retreat or whatever that person a has been in they now want to return they want to return back to person b but there is a knight of swords in reverse it could be could be still reeling under the shock of this fight or maybe person a just wants to now talk and clear the air that they are frustrated definitely but they also want to they know that they have to address all the unrest that was created they want to now set the record state straight or talk or clear the air and request person b that hey can we have a brand new beginning right so give me one more for the knight of swords in reverse yes they they they're feeling burdened they have things in their heart that they need to unburden they need to reveal what they've been hiding there was a card which say, said said that i bury you with lies now, i'm afraid to tell you the truth but i think person a now feels if they don't tell the truth now if they don't unburden whatever they've been hiding they're going to lose the love of their life forever right they're going to lose this unconditional love they know that the person has now withdrawn from them has left them has walked away so they feel that till i don't now 
will you? I'm going to ask that. You want to and will you will be two different things. Of course, that will come in their action. But just one more card. Yeah, they are stuck at the moment. They are stuck at the moment. They'll be contemplating how to, what conversation, how to do this. Because they feel uh, their person doesn't love them anymore, maybe. So let's go on to the other side and see how person B is doing. Person B, you have the five of swords in reverse. Why is that? Queen of Swords, twice already on their side, right? So this is a very, very strong individual who has now learned to protect themselves. They feel that my person was a liar, they were, they were a cheat. Maybe this Queen of Swords caught them in uh, some action which they didn't like. So I think person B is heavily protecting their energy. They yeah, they are they are the ones who could be moving moving on, leaving person A in the cold now. Uh, I'm moving on. I'm manifesting a brand new life for myself. I'm not interested in always feeling you know in lack, and uh, I've decided to set my goal elsewhere. I'm that's what person B is doing. They they I think they are the ones now leaving person A out in the cold and manifesting what spirit? What's this magician? What is person B manifesting? Person B says, I no longer am interested in stressing. <laughs> I've let all the stresses of the sleepless nights of feeling unrest and having, uh, you know, just unrest in my heart and mind regarding the commitment which was never given to me. Uh, Omkara Taro, I'm actually manifesting all new things in my life new love, new forward movement, new adventures, new things in my life because this old thing really didn't work for me. In fact, I've even given up hope that, you know, uh, an apology will even come from them. So I'm out, I'm, I'm busy manifesting. So what happened in the recent past that you made such a strong life decision for yourself, person B? Queen of Swords, again. One more. I think person B is the one who felt that this connection is not coming to that place of strength and uh, could have said, hey, I don't want to be part of this anymore. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to argue with you anymore. I don't want to be one of your options to have to compete with you. Uh, I feel disrespected. So I'm going to end this, stagnate this connection. Too many, it's like uh, too much unrest too much unrest there's no peace there's no harmony i think person b is the one who's moving forward to find this peaceful place for themselves leaving all uh, unrest behind so six of swords in reverse what happened uh, person b one more yeah person b is quite ready to move on to new love they they feel that this past person was very selfish, very self-centered, very attention-seeking, never did the right thing. It was all about them and never about the connection. I have a person, I have a feeling person B is the one who's now ready to find new love. They're looking for fresh brand new love which is emotionally available to them. But how do you feel about this person, uh, person B? How do you feel about this connection, this person? Well, person B says, well, I, I think they already told you I'm the queen of cups in reverse now. I don't have anything left to give them. They drained me out. They totally, my cup was totally dry. I mean, they never refilled it. A cup of love given should be refilled to make it the two of cups or to make it an equal partnership. I was the only one who was pouring, pouring, pouring and they all they did was take from me. So, you know, I dropped it. I stopped being juggled, I stopped be waiting to, you know, then that back and forth energy, will they, will they not, will they come and pour into my cup, I just dropped it. So, Queen of Cups in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse. So, isn't it uh, fascinating, both of you have the Queen of Cups in the same position. Person A knows what they've done how they depleted this queen of cups and person b is only validating that and saying yes i am the queen of cups and uh, well they never offered me nothing 
this is a false soulmate connection this is something that i wanted but in the hope of getting i kept giving but that offer never came two of pentacles in reverse two of pentacles in reverse yes yes person <laughs> Person B has made up their mind. They are uh, getting out of looking at the past now. They don't want to look at the past with sadness and regret and sorrow and uh, wasting any more time, energy, effort, staying at limbo, waiting for the past person to come back. I have a feeling person B is ready for a passionate brand new beginning. No longer wanting to communicate with the past or waiting for communication from the past. Maybe they were waiting. Maybe they were waiting for a very long time. But now person B has made up their mind. No more. I'm not interested. Give me one more for the two of pentacles. Yeah, see, the decision is final from person B's end at least. Two of Swords upright as a card of somebody still stuck in limbo, not being able to decide which direction to go. But this is, I've made my choice. I've made my decision. I'm going towards my peace. All right. So, okay. Let's uh, see what actions you guys will take. I'm going to take another deck for this one, Libra. And um, well, if you could just hit that like button for me, that would be really nice. It helps the videos to circulate. And of course, yes, makes me very, very happy to know how many of you I'm connecting with. And uh, newcomers, when you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bells. That way, then YouTube can notify you whenever new videos have been, you know, released. So let's see, person A, what action will you take towards uh, person B? Queen of Wands in reverse. I think they are very, very afraid that uh, their person is still very upset and angry with them. So, yes. Five of Swords, Page of Pentacles. This person is scratching their head right now. They don't know what to do. They don't know, they don't know what action to take because they fear that their person is still very upset with them. So, does that mean you won't take any action, person A? Does that mean you won't take any action? One more. Ah, they are waiting and watching. They are waiting and watching. They want to know if their person, person B, is single or in a connection first. Okay, they don't want to make a move till they are 100% sure. Is my person still single, available, waiting for me? Or are they happily cozied up in front of the fire with a new suitor? This person is spying. Big time, big time. They don't, uh, they're being a bit sneaky to be honest. <laughs> they are uh, watching, they are waiting, they are trying to figure it out. But not taking any action because, well, they don't know whether... They will be accepted back uh, because they know they've really upset their partner, right? So, yes, this person just wants to know one thing and one thing only. Are you still single or are you with somebody else? So, that's, that's the main criteria before they make their choice as to whether they want to move towards person B or not. Okay, so person B, what action will you take towards person A or otherwise in your own life? Two of Cups in reverse. I think person B has kind of gotten fed up of believing. Oh yeah, Tower. Tower, Two of Cups. Why is that an action? Why is that an action? I think person B is just holding back. They are, they are, they have become very strong. They somewhere in their mind feel that this past person is very, very toxic right they know they have to really build up their strength to well even face them they feel if this person comes back it's going to be bring in another tower moment because um, somewhere i think person b believes that this person is very toxic uh, they've kind of stopped believing that this is their two of cups this is their soulmate this is the one because of the experience they've had right i mean they they had a cup of love to give which got totally drained out where, where is the other cup that got poured into them? It wasn't. So through 
person B's experience, they have started to believe that this connection was either a karmic or a, you know, a, a false soulmate or something. And uh, they are just holding back, being very strong in their own life. Uh, I have a feeling person B is trying to use their intuition to figure things out. But I don't think person B is going to open up first. I don't feel that person B is going to make any move. I don't think they're even talking or communicating. Just, yeah, person B says this was too heavy a burden to carry. Omkara Taro, I got stuck with all the responsibilities of this connection. I am healing myself. I am, I am healing myself at the moment. Okay, so person A, I'm going to ask you one last time. Are you only going to keep spying or will you take any action? Will you take any action? Ace of Wands. Yes, they may. You Once they figure, figure things out, there is nothing stopping this person. Once they, they find out the truth, all they need to know is, are you single or are you with somebody else? Once they figure that out, they are ready with their Ace of Wands to take action. Okay. So, well, that's all I have for you. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.